Hello and welcome. I'm Elaine Didier, Director of the Gerald Ford Presidential Library and Museum, located in Ann Arbor and Grand Rapids, Michigan. My colleagues and I are pleased to introduce you to our new virtual museum series. The Library and Museum are proud to be one of the Presidential Libraries within the National Archives and Records Administration. We are honored to be stewards of the many congressional, presidential, and personal papers and artifacts of both President Ford, Mrs. Ford, and many members of the Ford administration. Thanks to the support of the National Archives and the Ford Presidential Foundation, we are able to bring our collections to life for you. Please take your time and enjoy your virtual tour experience at the Gerald R. Ford Presidential Museum. Hi, my name's Jim Mellick. I'm the director and the, uh, the creator of the Wounded Warrior Dogs Project. And uh, I'm really pleased to be back in Grand Rapids since uh, this group of dogs won the, won the grand prize at Art Prize uh, 8 in 2016. But it's, it's great to stop back here and, and, uh, and have people see the dogs again. Plus, I have four new dogs called Canine War Stories that broadens the story and brings new information uh, for everyone to see. David Simpson here was the Air Force dog uh, by Air Force David Simpson, uh, the handler, who took his own life in 2017. So this deals with the issue of veteran suicide. And um, I met his family and his, and his three children. Uh, they came up to see the dog at the Air Force Museum and they were so appreciative that they feel that that story needs to be told. The story is about the, the hurt and the suffering that takes place for those who are left behind. And I want veterans to think about who are the real victims of suicide uh, in telling this story. And then we have others, the very first, we have Jojo 620, R620. He had an IED explosion and Patrick Tuckle was his handler in, uh, in uh, Afghanistan. And then we tell the story of Luca, top dog Luca, and um, Luke, uh, Cooper here with the football. It was they, uh, they were friends in Iraq, and they were on one of the missions. Um, Corey Wines and Cooper were killed. They were the first K-19 killed in the war, global war on terror. And uh, what I'm depicting here is Luca has since died and this is called Over the Rainbow Bridge, where they meet up again, they meet each other again in the afterlife. They are so appreciative of me telling the story. It's been very cathartic for them and has led to a lot of the healing. Hello again, I'm Elaine Didier, director of the Gerald Ford Presidential Library and Museum. I hope you've enjoyed your virtual experience today and will continue to explore the many virtual and in-person experiences we offer at both the library and the museum. Our exhibits and programming are made possible through the support of the National Archives and Records Administration and the generous contributions of donors to the Gerald Ford Presidential Foundation. If you enjoyed your tour today, please consider joining the Foundation's Friends of Ford which supports many of our activities. Now we invite you to continue your virtual experience on our website, fordlibrarymuseum.gov. That's all one word, fordlibrarymuseum.gov, and explore more than 600,000 pages of documents and photos from our archival collections, images of museum artifacts, as well as video recordings of numerous outstanding speakers we have hosted at both the library and museum. Thank you for spending your time with us today, and we look forward to seeing you in person very soon.